it, it's good. You know, we, we come down here on a Thursday night and uh, come down in Glover Andy and the lads come along and we sit in and we chat away and one of the things the lads love to hear is this reminiscing about the thing we used to get up two years ago. And this tale's about an old lady uh, sitting on the veranda of a <coughs> bungalow. So imagine if you will, it's out on the prairie and there's a bungalow there. It's seen better days, but it's been a nice bungalow, a little bit shot at these days. And out front is a veranda. And sitting in a rocking chair is this old lady rocking backwards and forwards in the afternoon sun. Lying down by her side is her old dog snoozing in the sun there. And she's reminiscing about her life. And she's thinking back. And she's thinking about the people she used to know, her family, the places she used to go to, the adventures she's been on. And as she's sitting there rocking backwards and forwards in the rocking chair, this figure appears in front of her. She looks up and goes, Who are you? She says, I'm your fairy godmother. She goes, Nah. <laughs> I haven't got a fairy godmother, she goes, yeah, everybody's got a fairy godmother. All right, okay, what do you want? She says, well, you've had a good life, so you have, up to now you haven't had need for me. But now, I think it's time for your three wishes. So, what would you like for your first wish? She sits in the church, she thinks. Do you know what, I've always wanted to be a princess. She says, I've always wanted to be a princess. No, the fine clothes, fine attire. It's a fairy godmother waves the wand. Ding. There she is, vivacious princess, fine clothing, young, beautiful. Just look, she can't believe it. The fairy godmother says, "Do you want your second wish?" <clears throat> Do you know what? She's rocking in the chair. No, she's finished rocking in the chair. <laughs> she's, uh, she's standing there. She says, <laughs> Do you know what? She says, I'd love to live in a fine castle. But then, the bungalow turned into a fantastic castle. For the fine chandeliers, big fireplace, books on the shelves. <laughs> and she looks around. This is fantastic. I love it. And they're lying on the floor next to them. It's the old dog. So the fairy godmother says, time for your last wish, what would you like? So she looks down at her old faithful companion and thinks, do you know what? I think I'd like my old faithful dog to be a handsome prince. So the fairy godmother waves a magic wand, points at the dog, a ding. There's this handsome prince standing there in front of her. And she looks at him. She, she can't believe it. She stands there and looks at him with lust in her eyes. And he comes over, looks deep into her eyes, puts his arms around her, and whispers into her ear, I bet you wish you hadn't had me muted now. <laughs> <laughs>